J. Allen 285 presents a special feature with L.C. Baby. Part to part. When I was in first grade, uh, there was this, this guy. Uh, his name was James Weathers, blue eyes, and he was just beautiful. And I was in love with him. And I would always say to him, hey, James, whenever we take our bathroom break, wait in the bathroom after me so we can be the last ones in the bathroom, which is so perverted and nasty and everything. <laughs> And you know, he would never wait. One day, it just so happened that we were, you know. And then, listen, he got so freaked out. He like pulled up his pants really fast and went running out of the bathroom. My heart was racing. I was so scared. I thought he was gonna tell someone or something. He never told his soul. I always like try to look for him on Facebook or MySpace or something so I can like apologize. And you knew when first get grade. So then how did you date a girl in high school? I became very religious, like at the age of like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I was very religious. And I believe that, you know, being a homosexual is wrong. And I had a girlfriend, too. Her name was Anne. She was amazing. She was very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And all through high school, you know, I was, like, straight. The only person who really knew was my best friend at the time. And he also knew that I was working with God towards a better whatever. God doesn't make gay people. You're not born gay. You're, you're possessed. There's something wrong with you. If you feel this way about someone so strongly, and when I look at a woman, I feel nothing at all. Shouldn't there be something built into me that makes me look at a woman and still be attracted to them? When I was a senior in high school, I decided that that's it. I'm going to be gay, and I'm going to be gay all the way, and I'm going to enjoy my life. I wrote a letter to my mom. I know you're probably wondering what I am. I am gay, and this is the life that I want. My mom read it, and then she looked at me, and she smiled, and she was like, I was wondering what you were. My mom still has a letter to this day. My mom's great. I can, like, tell my mom about all my relationships. She's met all of my serious boyfriends. Alan, this is the best part of your coming out story. This is, this is the juice right here. This is what everyone in America wants to know. A girl. The girl that you saw. With. How did that happen? Did you enjoy it really? I think that I enjoyed it because it felt good. Not because she was a girl, not because she was hot, but because it felt good. And I think, you know, as a guy, that's just the man in me that if it feels good, do it kind of thing. As a host tool. Her name was Angela. Angela, you're gonna be put out there, sister. <laughs> <laughs> she was my mom, one of my mom's very good friend's daughter. And we're about the same age. And it started with a game, hide and go get it. It's probably like a game like a bunch of black people play, I don't know. It's like hide and seek, but you turn off the lights and it's guys against the girls. And basically the idea is for the guys to catch the girls and like do stuff with them or whatever. I was like 13, 12 or 13. You had sex at 13? I don't really remember how it all came about. We just decided to have sex. I had sex with her. Did you really know what to do at that age? She knew what she was doing. She did it like probably four or five times. And oh, wow. Okay. I know. And then she just like all of a sudden.